Alright, so we're going to be headed towards Salt Lake City to go get some tin put on the BMW. Get this thing not fishbowl anymore. I'm going to go do it at my work. We'll come back when it's done. Tinted. Here's the final result. With 5% all the way around with a vinyl banner that's just uh, black, gloss black. Super nice. Super dark, no one can see in. A couple fingers. I still gotta work out. This was, I haven't tinted a bunch of cars. This is my second personal car that I've tinted. First one being the S14, and before the S14, I maybe tinted three or four cars before that, but so far this BMW's by far been the hardest one because the windows surprisingly were pretty round in that way, which tint isn't like vinyl or wrap where you can stretch it and flex it and pull it. Tint goes on how it goes on, and now to do back windows, like this, which are pretty round, there's a special method that you have to do to the tint before putting the tint on, before taking the paper off and everything to get it to mold to the window and let make it go on easier. And I mean, as you can see, even this still, and all, all that, this is because those little dots, it's gotta, the sun's gotta pull it and shrink it around those little dots, but stuff like this in this corner, that's because the window's so round, the tint isn't, like the same shape which causes it to finger up like that what you got to do is you just got to let the water behind it dry a little bit and take a squeegee and keep squeegeeing them down so i'll keep working at that but here's the final product i figured before ending the video i should give you what it looks like inside as well so i'm gonna grab my keys so let's see So this is inside that's the tin strip it's only it's about eight and a half inches from the top of the seal you can see that there's the a-line um don't tell anyone that definitely not illegal and there's just the go around i left a towel back there put that towel up to keep from getting the carpet too crazy wet when spraying water on it but feels nice in here so i'll keep working on getting those fingers down but that's where this video is gonna end next video will be putting coils on this thing so stay tuned for that